we are doing the get your paws off my dice cat uh mad mage uh for this week we oh, are, i'm in we, the wrong campaign we are, we are we are back uh from our christmas and new year's uh billy's feeling a lot better now we see right. him soft kitty happy kitty <sighs> so soothing yes okay so you guys are in 18c uh you kill the drows that was in that was guarding that tower the watchtower ashley got dragged into 18g basically sleeping gagged and tied up because she wasn't here with us she was with her family in maryland serves you right to have familial relationships of goodness that's where i'm originally from Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Ashley, when you were tied up and stuff in that pen, you see five giant spiders, five adult troglodytes, and a minotaur chained to the ground. And you see the minotaur horns has been a uh, horn is sawed off. You the chains that he wrapped you around are webs. Uh, you can try and roll me an athletics or acrobatics check to see if do we you know can... she do, do we know where she was taken? Yeah, you guys do. I'm doing Ashley right now. You go right, roll me an athletics or ath acrobatics to see do if you could athletics. rip off the, uh, the the webs off of you. Yeah, I'm assuming this is all taking place while we're nu nuking the hell out of that tower. Hmm. 21. So you rip the, the webs right off of you and rip the webs that's been gagging you as well. So you see spiders, adult spiders, five uh, troglodytes, and a minotaur that's chained by webs. Um, you can try and set them free. They're all chained and uh, prisoners? Yeah. I set them free. Okay, roll me another athletics or acrobatics. Okay, you rip the Minotaur's webs off. The Minotaur thanks you uh, in common in a brokenish way and rips the troglodytes and the five spiders out. You see a basically uh, Grim and Billy. You guys see uh, it look like a, a sli uh, like a gel break out of eighteen G. Oh shit! <laughs> Graphic. Well, what are we gonna do about that? Uh, does it doesn't look like she's being attacked right now by that minotaur and troglodytes? So I'm just a let, badass. Let, let's just keep a watch. Anything that tries to to impede their escape, let's let's light them up. So she doesn't know where we are. How do we tell her? <sighs> oh shit. Um. We are we still flying or did that wear off? That wore off. You guys wore are off. you guys okay. in the We've tower. been hanging out in the tower now, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> we gotta I'm just somehow if we could let her let her know we're in here and they could come in this direction or she could come in this in this direction. Bemo, what do you want? Mage hand. I just wanna look up a spell real quick. I think I might have an idea. But Continue thinking as well. Well, I'm running. Uh, I will run out with the other jailbreaks. I am going to fire. Wait, I'm going to launch a sacred flame, sixty feet, which is the farthest I can throw it out the I window. Like, don't, the don't shoot at these guys. I freed them. He does. He, he can't hear you. I'm like waving my arms. I'm going to make a mage hand. You're and just kind of point down it at us. It's thirty feet, so it'll be half the distance of your your signal. But hopefully, so your signal you will get her to like look in the direction, and there'll be a mage hand pointing to the top right, of the good, tower. Good plan. So I'll shoot at maximum distance, which is sixty feet, and then he'll put the mage hand out. So um, maybe, maybe she can yeah. make a perception you, you, figure you, out something. You, you see a flaming arrow uh, pointing at the tower, uh, Ashley. So I know they're in that direction. Uh, as you think, 
You don't, you don't know. Uh, roll me um, perception. Perception? Okay. Or an insight. Either one will work. Yeah. Okay. Damn, you're rolling on fire tonight. Well, actually, when it counts, it's going to suck. Well, let's see here. Uh, you think uh, that's where your team teammates are at? So yeah. I run over in that direction. Mm hmm. You see, drows are blowing horns and everything else. You see multiple drows coming out of their uh, fortress and everything. What is she running by herself, or are those are the monsters following her? No, no, the monsters just run out rampant and try to escape. So I set them free. Mm hmm. I was hoping maybe they'd be like, "You are our leader." Hey, why we don't will you follow make them, you now? Why don't you make them like that, Lance? Would make me their leader. <laughs> I mean, well, you gotta try and persuade. And work for it. Yeah. Well, I have speak with animals, and I have animal handling, and some of them are animals. So, uh, yeah, but they're but they're uh, sentient. Animals that you handle are non sentient. That are no, that Minot are that Minotaur sentient? spoke to you. So, that you know, know that Minotaur at least knows some broken common. I bet he could be easily convinced to, to aid you. You mean, uh, demolish you? Uh. Well, he thanked me. I mean, we've taken down a whole lot of Minotaurs, so. If he wants to fight us, I don't think it'd be a problem. Well, but this one, <laughs> we're hoping, we're, this we're one's hoping. like weakened and it has no horns. Yeah, the horns well, were broken off. No cut off. You know what I call him? His new name is Cannon Fodder. Okay. Uh, that's what that's a long name. It's called yeah, Sia. And the uh, slave pen that you guys see, because I actually can't see it on 18H, you see 12. Uh, where were you looking goblins, uh, in 18H? 12 goblins. Mm -hmm. Are they captured? Yes. Is, is that, uh, is that like a, a pen? Like an open top like, pen? Like, like a, yeah, yeah, open top slave pen? pen, yeah. But with, like, okay. with webs all around to tie them down. Okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta get them out. Absolutely. I could use oh. persuasion to get them to join us, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. If it would work. The the Minotaur? You gotta know it's be charred monster. How far? Oh. I wonder how far I can control my elemental bit. What about the spiders I freed? Uh you can try the spiders, but you know, the, the, they're they're not attacking you. They're just trying to get the hell out of here. But I could get a spider familiar if they're not mm -hmm. scenting. You know what you could try to do? What? Is just get the spiders to run towards the drow. You know what you can also do? What? Just kill Grimm's character. Let him make a new one. <laughs> just destroy that tower. Let it crumble down the ground. I hear a cat. Yeah, that's Grimm's I cat. I hear it as well. Mm-hmm. What does your Kitty. cat want? She wants. I have a can of air, compressed air, next to me, and it has one of those little straws in it. And she wants the straw. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, tell your kitty no. So that she's literally sitting at it while I'm holding it, and she's sit, like sitting on me, just meowing at me for it. Mm -hmm. So what? Your kitty has issues. Everyone has issues. What are you guys gonna do now? Um, I probably, I know I wasn't able to get my elemental up to the top, but I remember that I had sent my elemental in via that front door area, mm -hmm. like I earth stepped him through. So can I have him 
sink into the ground and move 30 feet. Uh, let me see here. 30 feet to the south, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then I'm going to have him do another 5, 10, 15, 20. So his full move is going to be getting himself underneath what appears to be the entrance to this pen. Okay. There's going to be a whole battle scene. Uh, roll me, uh, roll me initiative. Okay. Let's get these Ooh, it's goblins been a while. out. I'm not sure I can remember how to roll initiative. Uh, hey, Grim, guess what? Yes, sir. I, I almost have all the D&D books. Which, what are you missing? I'm missing, I think I'm missing, I'm, I'm missing four more books. That's it. I got all the fifth well, edition sir. books. In PDF format, I have every D and D book ever made. But I have the actual books in hand. <laughs> so I roll the five. Okay. I rolled a seven. I told you it's not gonna keep going. Good. Mm. And I'm rolling for the the drow and the monsters team. Okay, good. So it looks like Billy's going to go dead last. Yep. Grim? Yes, sir. Roll it to your initiative. I bet you're going to roll. You gonna roll a one. Please, please roll double digits. Roll one. Roll a one just for me. It's going to be a three, isn't it? Seven. Uh, Four, close enough. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Drowsy. God are... damn it. We are. We're these, not doing great there. These uh, three uh, looks like mage drows on 18B are shooting missiles at the Minotaur. Poor Minotaur. Mm. Well, looks like I'm going to do it on this. And I will throw BMO at them. Four, f eight, twelve. BMO, right? You're going to go attack these trails, right? Plus 12. The 12 bolts hitting the Minotaur. Damn. And the Minotaur just uh. is trying to stand on one leg, but he's pretty badly beaten. You see. So where exactly did all the bolts come from? From 18B. The tower. You see three of these trails. Making an attack. Remember, they don't have weapons or arms. Uh, these creatures that you guys can uh, The drow in ATB do not have weapons. No, 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 the Minotaur. The Minotaur, the, the, the troglodytes and stuff. Okay. Uh, two hits. Ooh, that Minotaur is dead. It, it just beat the shit out of him and just died. Okay. They just, they don't care. They're just gonna kill them all. So they're engaging the spiders now. Mm-hmm. And, and also they're engaging the elementals. The elemental's underground right now. Oh, He's they're below underground? The gate. Yeah. Uh, he, he did his earth glide. And then they're gonna go and... They don't see you guys because your guys are all the way up there. Moving them up. Let me see if the troglodytes get hit. I mean, we kind of need these drow to clump together to start to start just dropping shit on them. Yeah, these t two troglodytes are dead. Smashed down to the ground. I'm moving all of these guys. Raffin, what do you say we barricade this door? And we bait them all to come in front of the tower, and we just start dropping everything we got. Flame strikes, fireballs, flame walls, everything. Yeah, we've got to draw them away from those prisoners down there. Okay. Or else Arrays is going to be slaughtered. Oh, right, Ashley, Ashley and Grim, go. I'm gonna 
hold my action to see what uh, what the drow are gonna do. I I'm guessing they're gonna engage those monsters and Shereza. But yeah, we gotta figure out a way to draw them to the door. So is there anything down here I can use to barricade this door? Uh there are tables and chairs down there with a couple dead uh, drows that you guys killed. What do you think? Stack these against the door to try and stop them from getting in while we drop stuff on them from the top? Uh, sure. I won't be much help because I'm extremely weak. So uh, I'm going to put everything I can in front of the door. So you'll run, you'll run down the tower or are you going to barricade the I'm door at the top of the tower? Like I'm going to run down. It is. I'm going to barricade the bottom door so they can't get in, so they stay in the field as, as long as we can keep them there, so we can drop whatever we can drop on them. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm planning on staying at the top of the tower, so that'll yeah. that'll be good. So the second they second like a huge group of them comes in range, you can do some damage, right? How is what do you have for AOE left? Um, I'm I used my fifths. I'm tapped out of fifths, and I have. Two fourths, one third. Uh, I, I've got some spells. I've got some spells. So that's at least three fireballs, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I we'll be all set with that. I I still haven't tapped in my sixth or seventh levels yet. Okay, so we potentially have more than that. Okay, so if you could do anything to draw them to the when it comes when it comes up your turn, if you could do anything to draw them here, do it. I'm going to run down and stack and try and barricade this door. Okay. Um, so he's going to do that. He grims down, try to barricade the door. Uh, the cobalt sings uh, a tune. You get a barbaric inspiration, Billy. You get a D8 for the battle. Awesome. Uh, Ashley, what are you going to do? I'll show you what I'm going to do. Don't do a spell called Crestor. Dang. It, it makes 10, 10 foot caves that go down. All right, where are you going to do it at? Clever. Mm -hmm. 10 foot cue ball one or separate? 10. Uh -huh. 10 of them. Okay. Any saves? No save. I just wanted to. Okay. <clears throat> There's more powerful spell than Dexterity. Billy. Dexterity. Dexterity saving throw. What's the DC save? That's dexterity and uh, 15. Okay, it, uh, does it negate it or takes half damage? Half damage. Uh, roll the damage. What spell is that? Firestorm, 7th level. Oh, nice. Hmm. I want to live in America. I want to live in America. Da, 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 da. Come on, do you guys don't know West Side Story? I'm West familiar with it. I just don't know it well you enough. You should be able to hit 10 of them. Yeah. Oh, you can't hit 10 because there's not enough adjacent. You can hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it looks like. It, it makes 10? There's it, 10, it's the 10 foot ten. cubes. 10 foot cubes. But they have to be adjacent, right? No. I don't think you, you can arrange them anywhere. as you wish. Okay, you're right. You can arrange as you wish. Yeah, she already came here and marked it. The monitor. So 10, 10, 10 foot cubes, that's a lot of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a huge amount. Uh -huh. uh, they're all alive still, but badly wounded. Oh. <laughs> Two. Uh, Damn. 
Oh yeah, within 150 feet. That's pretty good. Monsters gonna attack. I'm like a pyromaniac. No, I, I have the same spell. Firestorm, Firestorm. Uh, it's my best it says spell. each cube must have at least one face adjacent to the face of another cube, so they do okay, have to be so adjacent. I am, I am right. That's what I thought. The, I thought the they cube, had to be the, cubes. the cubes have to be. Okay, but the, the troglodytes and the spider mist. Uh, so it's your turn, Billy. The ball is in your court. All right. Well, first, uh, Elemental is going to burst up and try smashing these gates. You see 12 goblins. So he's going to attempt to smash. You're going to smash the goblins? The gates. Uh, the gates smashed, but they're webbed up. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna sit. Uh, then I throw up. You wanna go to urgent care? She had chocolate cake. Uh. And I don't know what she ate before that. Me neither. She had taco. No wonder she got sick. That's not. I'm sick. I throw up. That's because you ate taco. Then you had the chocolate cake. Would urgent, urgent care wouldn't be open now, would it? There's a 24-hour one here. We have that one that's in a hospital. So then it's an emergency uh, room. It's a triage. My face. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Feeding my face. <laughs> okay. You see 12 goblins all webbed up. That's a lot of goblins shoved in that little room. Uh, so that smash, <clears throat> um, and then the... Are they in a <laughs> pen? Can you yell at them? Because you, you're outside on top. Is there any way you can communicate with them by, like, yelling at them? You're uh, well, about 50 right, feet right up. Right now, I'm you're just like, doing the elemental. You're, like, 50 feet up on the tower. Oh, yelling, yeah. I would love to see how that yeah. works. Well, the elemental's going to smash the gates, and then he's going to go back into the ground. <laughs> uh, I... I Used five to come out, so that's ten to go back. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He's gonna go up there underground. Mm -hmm. But the goblins are still uh, chained, uh, webbed up. Yep. Now the door is all busted up, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I <clears throat> am going to look over the side, and I'm gonna throw a uh, fireball in the sky. Yeah, just ball just dies. your standard level fireball. Where? Uh, down. Right. Let's see here. Right here. Um. Let me pull out the ruler. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna kill the troglodytes. Two troglodytes. You got three drows so far, two spiders. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six drows. Okay. Okay, so that's a deck saving throw. DC is 18. No, DC save is one. Let me damage. <laughs> you know, I'm blowing like one saving throw for all of them. <laughs> I'm not rolling six. Oh, that's fine. Okay. These are just too many freaking magic pennies. Oh. 38. Okay. I should tell you which one died. You killed two troglodytes and two spiders. And you also blast it through this door. Uh, look at the to nineteen B there. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm this door is destroyed, blown off. Okay. Uh, I forgot one more. There. And then, uh, 
I'm just gonna duck my head. No, I'm not. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna duck my head uh, down around over the tower here. Hey, Graham, you said you want to hold your action turn, so it's all you. I think he went down and uh, barricaded the okay. doors. Right? That's not a problem. You'll get in. Uh, one, two, three. Ashley, you get hit by 12 bolts. <laughs> Hey, it could have been 18 volts. You take 42 points of damage. Ouch. Mm-hmm. And three drows comes to you. Want to start? Smack it. Da-da-da-da-da. Smack it. I don't really want to get in here. AC? AC, Ashley? 14. Uh, yay, you get hit by six points of damage with a hammer. How see. many damage? Six points of... You took 48 total. Growls are coming in. Growls are coming in. Okay. The truck, we see them moving this way. Spiders are going through the gardens. Looks like they're leaving you guys. Uh, okay. Go, Grim and Ashley. You see, Ashley is being helpless, getting hit by the brunt of the attack. Sorry. Back. You're not. You never. She's started. not entirely helpless. She did cause a massive firestorm, which, which did pretty good damage. Mm -hmm. So those. She's just, she's just exposed to mm -hmm. all those crossbow bolts. They're gonna learn not to get near me. So the so all the ones that are over here are dead. Yeah, hit by a fireball and firestorm. Is it my turn yet or no? Yeah, you and Grim go at the same time. I, I'm yeah. gonna It's probably gonna take a round. You know what? Change your plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna run out. Well you barricade it so you got to take a yep. turn to so take it down. I I'm gonna take the barricade down. Okay, Ashley. I, I mean, use I use Thunder Wave. Okay. I'm guessing those three, right? Yeah. Wait, I'll roll the save, roll me damage. What is that, Grim? What? You say you take the yeah, you took the barricade down. You could move out, but you can't do anything else. Uh I'm gonna use my full moment so that'd be thirty. Uh, uh roll me damage, Ashley. It's tough to tell what the movement is because there really aren't any squares. Oh, there are squares. It's just hard to freaking see. Yeah, they're not they're not showing up on my map. They're very faint. They're very light gray. They're almost invisible. Uh, let me... As I said, they shouldn't get near me. No, they're staying, keeping their distance, shooting bolts at you. I don't know. Roll 20 is having a problem on my side right now. Okay. No. Uh, um, let's see here. Draw tie. So... You see Kit sings uh, Barbaric Inspiration on Grim for 1d8. And Billy, go. Go, Billy, go. Billy, be good. <sighs> okay. You guys are like up on a hill, right? No, you're We're in the tower, the tower there. Mm -hmm. All right. You see, this thing you is see. like... This thing is like zooming me in and out, and I don't know why. <clears throat> What the heck did it do? Rotorny's Rotor acting up. We know it's having mm. problems today. It's been having well, problems. Since I think I'm in range, 150 feet, I'm going to pop my head up. I'm going I'm to see if I'm in range first, because I don't want to just assume. Now you get used to Praggerian Theorem to see the hypotenuse of the triangle. 
Mm. <laughs> there are like calculations swirling above my head. Is A and square like, oh. plus B square equals C square. There you uh, go. X is always fireball, which I'm going to cast at a level six towards where, these guys where, right where, where, here. Where, where are you uh, doing it at so I can measure it? Right here. Okay. Twenty, 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 twenty. Okay, roll me uh, damage. I'll roll the okay. save. Now, Do much damage. I'm doing it on die. level six, so that's three levels higher. So that's an extra three d six. So that's eleven d six. Forty-five. Hmm. You also destroyed two two more doors. Doors killed my parents. It's a mortal quest I have. Uh. My racial enemy is doors. <laughs> yeah, my favorite enemy type as a ranger, doors. Mm, no, because the Ma'am, door. No, is they're... that a door you have? Why? No, no, Why? Yes, no, it is a door. No, no, no. Your parents got killed by yeah. a, a, a mimic that shaped into a door. And every door you see, you think it's a mimic. So oh, man. No, that's a plot no, twist no. in the third book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that door was actually a mimic so that you're actually not batshit crazy. He wasn't uh, crazy. It was a mimic. Oh, uh, Grim, go. I should know. No, the, the, barely done. Uh, Earth Elemental? Anything with Earth Elemental? Uh, no, he was. he's just hanging out underground in case anybody tries to tries to rush up on us. He's okay. going to do a fucking uppercut. Uh, um, it is going to cast Fireball on Grim and Ashley. They can do it separately. Roll both of you odd or even, Grim? Even. Even. Oh. You think you you think you can get you, you can get even, huh? I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, this door's gonna be blasted open. <clears throat> yep, you get hit by two fireballs, Grim. Roll me two oh, dex shit. check. Roll me a dex check, Ashley. Oh shit! Dex thirty uh, seven twelve. Sure. <laughs> I. Um, I'm rolling two. I'm sorry, right? Yeah. Two. You're rolling two. Alright. And I'm going to add the D8 roll to that. D8, roll me a D8. Good idea. Good idea. To the five. Ah, oh, did nothing. Uh, said, oh. You take two full damage. <sighs> oh, and, uh, Oh, oh, I forgot the hash. Fire damage. You take 28. You take 58 total. Ashley. What? What did they do? I thought you said they firebolted me. Twice. Fireball. Fireball. Twice to you. Uh, Ashley. Who is dropping? Hold on, hold on. I think it's the 18B wizards. Who is dropping? Wizards, Who is Two fireballs on me? Those three wizards on 18B. Two went to you and one went to Cereza. Mm-hmm. Ashley, you take Are they on the are they on the top? Yep. Ashley, you take half of twenty seven. So I'll say They're like, like me, but there's three of them. I'll say about like fourteen take fourteen points of damage, Ashley. So it's Grim and Ashley's turn. Oh, How I... far is that door? Oh, I see them. I I know where they're at. I'm gonna do something to them. How far? You, you don't see. You don't, her, see, you, you you don't see them because they're fifty foot up in, in the tower. That's what I thought. But I know they're how coming far, from the tower. How far is this door? Ninety. I can't even get to it. Ashley would be thirty. Where's the nearest cover for you? 
just like the budge. <laughs> Go fuck. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do. No, there was covers that tower you guys are. He, he just left. Thirty. I'm gonna do yeah. ice storm to them. Uh, how was the range I... on it? It's probably right. less than three hundred feet. Three hundred feet. Uh, uh, what's the radius? Twenty foot radius. Forty foot high cylinder. What's the save on it? Dexterity. Uh, roll, roll it. It is 2d8 bludgeoning damage and 4d6 cold. Okay. Well, you don't think I can? The spiders are gone. They just left. They just climb off the edge. Alright, so I'm gonna cast Cure Critical Wounds on me. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I get 32 hit points back, mm -hmm. then I'm going to run as far as I can, which is, what, 30 feet? So just put me 30 feet about forward, because I can't, I can't uh, measure the squares, unfortunately. You need, new, you need a new monitor. Well, I, I'm on a t TV. I'm on a TV. Because I'm using a laptop that the monitor... They need glasses, is my friend. They're still alive. But they're very cold. Ash, uh, Billy, go. So she was able to get the yeah ice storm on the top. Hmm. Billy, yeah. Jeez, do I have anything that can help you guys here? Hey, you guys, you see? I got plenty too. of stuff to kill them. I just gotta get to them. Ooh, yeah. I know what I'm gonna do. You're, you're about, I know, I know what I'm gonna do. You're about do. 115 feet across from them. Uh, I'm just looking up. I don't know if a fireball, I don't know if a fireball right can reach up that high, that long. For you, I should check up the range for the fireball. Anyway, Billy might get hit. I think it's 150 feet. <coughs> Um, hmm. It is a hundred and fifty feet. <laughs> poor Billy. Poor poor Billy. What uh, uh, the heck is it? That's why I'm trying to get the range on the spell. No range for you. Uh, none. Apparently not. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. That's not gonna work. Um, I'm gonna have to just hope I can distract them and draw their fire to me. Uh, I think a magic missile. Actually, I'm not sure what the range on that is. Magic missile range is 120 feet. Would I be able to get one of those guys? Ooh, okay. Yeah, you can get either one. I'm going to do a, a first level magic missile, mm -hmm. and I'm going to send one dart per, to each of those three guys. So, okay. just roll that. Oh, one. This is the going left to right. It's uh, five damage, three damage. And four damage, and then I'm going to to duck down into into the um the hatch or whatever that leads down from the top level. I'm going to go down a level. Okay. Into the interior of the tower because I just watched three fucking fireballs napalm my friends down in the field. Uh. uh okay then. Uh. Uh. uh Otter even Ashley. Uh, 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 Grim gets eight, eight magic missiles. Son of a bitch. Grim takes 25. Ashley takes. Nothing. <laughs> 17 points of damage. 
three okay. fours on that one. Yeah, go, uh, Grim and Ashley. It is all on you. Uh, How far is that now? Sixty feet. Uh, it should be, be sixty. It should be sixty. I can I'm call lightning use two to Two turns. Them. I run to the door. Okay. Now this makes me useless. I'm a spell. I use spells. Now he's in the point where he can get damage. I'm not fifty foot up. I just got to the door. Oh, you're not up yet. So I can do call lightning and hit them. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. What? They're all within range. <laughs> <laughs> the towers. You have uh, yeah, two more towers to conquer. All right, call lightning to them. The idiots at top of the tower. Call lightning. Yeah. Let me look at uh. uh the ten feet tall, sixty foot radius. Lightning. Range is 120 feet. Uh, a storm appears in the shape of a cylinder that is 10 feet tall and 60 foot radius. Uh, the spell fails. If, uh, the spell fails. You can't see point air where the storm cloud appears. Uh, uh, so I can see. Throw a creature three D tent line damage on a on a fail state where half as much damage. All right, roll me damage. <laughs> is 14 yep okay uh they're still alive uh hope they're fried billy go So many things to do, so many things to kill. Why is the Earth Elemental so small? Oh yeah, I forgot. You've got to take his daily steroids. <laughs> it's daily steroids. Uh-huh. Uh, I have lost my phone. How did you manage to do that one? I don't know. I had it like 10 minutes ago. He's like me, but it's somewhere he forgets it the next, uh, the next moment. Could be in the kitchen, could be in the bathroom. I don't know. I might have it. You know, there was one time Lance was looking all over the room for it, and it was pretty much right in front of okay. him. Um, so I'm actually going to have him uh, cut his distance short five feet and use his last five feet to pop up out of the ground. So he'll be visible right there. Yes. Make um, your elemental kill them all. And then I am actually, I think I got injured last game. So I'm going to take one of my potions that I have. Um, Elm has sent me a message. He said, you are no longer. Okay. I'm going to continue there. running. Uh, how many? Uh, how many levels is the tower I'm in right now? Huh? It's how many levels? It's, it's two. It's uh, two levels. Sorry, On the three, inside. Yeah. The long okay. spiral, but fifty foot high. Okay. 
Uh, I'll try to run to the the center inside um, and drink my potion. Okay. So that's going to be uh, 2d4 plus 2. Magic missile is 120 feet. Yep. Okay. Let me do my calculator now. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Nine hit points healed to me. Uh huh. Let's see. How far is it up? Oh, Kit a little bit too far. I should know Kit's a beat within range. So three, eight, twelve, um. Uh, 12 you know, <laughs> magic missiles to uh kit kit takes 38 well to grim from the far tower far tower i'm inside the uh tower you're on the doorway towards the tower Still sees you, so you get forty-four, and Ashley gets twelve as well. Forty-four. Because, yeah. I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Thirty-nine, uh, Ashley. Thirty-nine points of damage. Mm -hmm. I'm dead. Yeah, I think I'm. Both I think of I'm you dead. guys wrote me a Constitution save. I mean, that's a lot of damage. Hold on, I gotta let me uh, get my sheet out. I'll have lovely slaves if you survive. Uh, you're, you're you're at zero. You're unconscious. Uh, hold on. While they're doing, while yeah. you, while you're doing that. Uh, goblet, uh, troglodyte went into the, the, the jail, uh, the pay, pen for a while, and you see goblins scattering around. How much damage was that? Uh, it was 44. I am not dead. I'm way off. <laughs> I am still at 20 hit, hit points. Let me see what Kit has. It's because I, I forgot I healed myself for 32. Uh -oh. Your critical heal? Yeah, that critical heal. I wouldn't it was, get it. It was but, critical. Yeah, I, I'm lucky I did that. Because I would be, I would be at minus 12 if I hadn't. And let me get Kit's chart out because he can heal too. There's hero left. Yeah, uh, I can't heal. Uh, so what are you gonna do, Grim? Well, I'm gonna heal myself for. I'm gonna use divine, my divine power to heal. Uh huh. And I'm gonna heal. Uh, so that's uh, thirty-eight points. I get back. Okay. And now I'm going to run up the tower. Static. Okay. So you're kind of half, a little over halfway towards the tower. Uh, and you heal halfway yourself. To it, halfway to the top? Yeah. Okay. A little over half. Like, you need 20 more feet to go up. Uh, okay. Billy, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to... Did I? Did any of those attacks come from the other towers? Yeah, the, okay. the one that uh, hit hit was eighteen D, eighteen A hit. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, since I can't see, I'm gonna just kind of. I I'm thinking to myself, what, what kind of more what kind of morals do these oh, wizards yeah. that are left have? Their That's ground right. forces are completely wiped out. So we I'm could literally have... just stay in the towers until they're out of spells, and then they're dead. I'm going to have my elemental start working his way towards the tower 18A. Okay. And he's he's moving above ground, just charging forward. 
Okay. And I, uh, I'm looking all around, and I'm going to, um, ah, oh, jeez. I don't want to expose myself too much here, but I'm going to pop up, and this is going to be my last, uh, second to last third level spell, fireball. I'm going to aim for 18D, right in the center. Well, for, first, I suppose... Uh, before I, I say that, uh, I said I was halfway down the tower, and you said it was a fifty or forty foot tower. You, it's a fifty foot, so you went yeah, fifty foot. So up. I need I need my whole movement to get back up. Uh, I'm going to continue down then. I'm going to use my the rest of my movement because I have twenty five feet speed. And instead of using it entirely to get up, I'm mm -hmm. going to go down to the base. I'm not going to cast that fireball, yeah. and I'm just going to kind of peer out at the the goblins there, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to try and shout to the goblins uh hopefully they can understand uh the the wizards in the tower are weak charge them and take back your lands Roll me a persuasion I don't, I don't know if they're they have their lands taken or whatever but Roll we'll me see. a persuasion yeah i'm i'm trying to see what it is a plus one Ah, uh, that's not good. They said, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add my inspiration to that." Uh, go for it. My bardic inspiration. So that's a D8, correct? Yes. <laughs> so that's a twelve. Twelve persuasion towards they a bunch are, of goblins. They said to him, "Broken comments." Uh, All goblin for themselves. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna. Uh, Stay inside the tower. <laughs> Kit uh, used the mention door and went to Ashley and grab a hold of her. Uh, Grim, what are you going to do? Run to the top. Okay, you're all the way in the top. I'm going to Oops. swing at the first one. Uh, which one, left or uh, top or left? And bottom or left? Uh, left. Okay, go for it. It hits. What's damage? 16. It's dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now that you're up there, oh, these guys are in trouble. Uh, uh, the, they start looking at the, the goal of going towards their way. You see six, uh, six. Six of the uh, the bottom towers uh, wizard cast magic missile at it. So that's twenty four d six. Oh boy! And so this thing I don't has, get a turn. Uh, you're unconscious. For how many turns? Until you, and they someone bring you back to one. Yeah, he makes death saving throws. Until you're revived or you die. Yeah. 90, before you stabilize. Yeah, 92 points of damage. <sighs> okay, this thing has 126 hit points. Mm-hmm. So. Your, your elemental is not looking too good. No, it is not. Yeah. You see the goblins going into the towers. Yeah. I mean, going into the fortress, I mean. Maybe with the troglodytes. Okay, uh, and these three, these two try to hit you with their quarterstaff. What's your AC? What's your AC, Grim? I need your AC. I need it so bad. Grim. Grim's dead. Grim. Grim is dead. Ding dong, the Grim is dead. Grim is dead. Grim is dead. Ding dong, the Grim is Grim is dead. 
Well, his mic's on mute. Mm, yeah. So uh, he might have went to the bathroom. I may have. You guys want to take a ten minute break? Eight nineteen right now. Sure. Uh, let's take a break. It's your turn. Swing. Uh, well, left or left or down? No, 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 it was not your turn. They're trying to hit your quarter stat. What's your AC? Twenty-four. They both miss. Go again. Your turn now. Hits. Twenty-two points of damage. Twenty-two points of damage. Okay. Dead. <sighs> it is dead. If they, if it allows me to delete, okay, cool. Uh, is that how you do? Uh, yeah, yeah. I still have one left, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Kit takes uh, Ashley, ups him back into the tower. Okay, uh, go Billy. Oh boy. All right, well, my elemental is going to continue his charge. Um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Um, and he's going to, as he moves forward, he's going to go under the, the earth. He's going to meld into the earth. Okay. He's going to use full movement to get there. Okay. Uh, where are you, what are you going to do? You're down on the floor. <sighs> yep. Um. I'm gonna take another of my health potions. Okay. That'll top me off. Oh, uh, not a problem. Oh, that was not a health potion. This is <laughs> not much better. Okay. Okay. All right, that's see, my turn. You see, these three drows cast a portal and walked into it. These six drows. Uh, and this child tried to attack Grim. This is Grim. Go. Uh, roll me damage. It's dead. Okay. Uh, Kit heals. Let me look at Kit's chart. Let's see here. Cure wounds. Uh, D8 per extra level. You could do fourth level. Fourth level will cure wounds. So hey, what are, the, what are the goblins doing? They're they're going in and ransacking. Oh. Not really what we needed them to do. Okay, Ashley, you get eight, nine, uh, seventeen. Uh, let's see here, 17, oops, 17, any additions for 17 plus your spell casting modifier, and the spell casting modifier is, get in, okay. You get you get uh twenty seven points of uh, health back. Twenty seven. You you you're muted, Ashley. And Ashley's up. Uh, you see, <laughs> goblins are ransacking and everything. Let's hope they don't find anything good. Mm hmm. So, what did you guys do? Uh, whose turn is it? It's, it's battle's over. Unless when they kill the goblins. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna run down the tower and out to where the goblins are. Okay. That and is... I'm gonna, I'm gonna run towards them, like, 
screaming like a madman, swinging my max axe, sorry, my hammer, trying to get them to kind of disperse away from what they're doing. Uh, what am I intimidate? Uh, what's this? Uh, strength? Is intimidate strength? What is it? Uh, it's charisma, I believe. Oh, so. That would make sense. I rolled a uh, 12 plus 2, so I got 14. They, I don't know if that is any good. They just laugh at you. Uh, they're in that room that they're taking out our, um, our like rations, like dry moss and mushrooms, and like a whole bunch of water skin. They're just in there eating. Are they evil? Or do I not know? Yeah, you, you you can try and find out. They're just eating what eating whatever the storage unit. This this looks like a like a like a like a ration area with food and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna run in and take some rations for myself. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine goblins and a troglodyte blocking your way from going through. They'll not let you through. I'm gonna push them. Uh, Romine acrobatics or uh, oh. strength. Yeah, or athletics. Sixteen. Sixteen. The combined of all nine pushes pushes you back. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, exit the tap or just was that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for uh, Graffin to come out, and uh, I'm not gonna take any hasty action. I'm gonna step back, but these guys have really got me kind of angry. Uh, uh, Ashley, you're you're up, so you can come down a tower and meet meet with them. Ashley, heard you the first time. Uh. I'm gonna have my. Uh, what was my that, element. Billy? I'm gonna have my. Oh. Sorry, I'm gonna have my elemental um, earth glide himself over. Okay. Oh come on! So don't underneath trace. the earth, and then I'm gonna have him pop up right here uh, next to us all. Uh, uh, 1980 is the door is destroyed. You want to take a look at that? Yeah, I'll peek over there. Okay. Uh, I'll, but I, I'll I'm gonna have my. I I wanted to have my elemental kind of looming behind, uh, behind Tyrell, giving him like you know like his backup kind of. So these goblins are like, oh shit, this is big thing behind them. Nineteen is basically like a like a like a barracks that the. Should we kill off of. these goblins? Because they're literally ransacking this place. Hmm. Hmm. And I don't, I don't think any of these creatures are good, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Uh, and I turn to the the goblins and I say, uh, "Hey guys, I I heard there was a merchant caravan near here. Wow, way more food. You guys, uh, you guys feel like raiding it? Roll me a persuasion or bluff. I'm a deceit, whatever. Yeah." Let me see here. Deception. Deception, yeah. That seems about right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Natural one. It says, ha, 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 ha. Food for only us. Get away. I should just kill him. I'm like, well, they didn't seem like they they wanted to kill an uh, innocent no person one, caravan. No one talks to us like, no, they just didn't believe you, Grafton. That's all. They're, they're, they're too dumb uh, to believe you. So I felt I, like I was really convincing that one. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take I your I'm gonna take your advice, Tyrell. You, you haven't steered me wrong yet. You were stumbling over your words, sir. Yeah, they well, have you, no have, you haven't steered me wrong anything. yet. So. They've been slaves and been starved, you know, for a very long time. So, well, they're they're laughing at us. So. 
I don't like that. Okay. You want to kill people that look like they haven't ate in weeks. These aren't people. I want to... Con- but they're I'll so continue walking weak. down. They're so weak they haven't ate in weeks and you want to kill something that weak. Huh. Yes. Because well, evil. you're not a very good person. You have uh, you don't those show creatures me. are not very good creatures and you, you are naive. You you're going to they, let they don't, evil live. They're not very smart creatures. They're not serving a purpose. I've wandered over to this door down here. Uh, What's it look like? It's a door. Uh, you open it. It's a hallway. Uh, but there's no point in killing them. Uh, the dark hallway is crawling with hundreds of harmless spiders. They're like webbing everywhere. Okay. Is this a tall hallway? Can I see? Can I see the ceiling of it? Uh, yes. It's okay. about thirty feet up. Not a really big fort. Uh, I'm gonna return to the rest of the group. I'm just tell them that I found a hallway inside a larger structure, and I kind of whisper, try to, I mo- motion for them to follow me a little bit, and I return over here a little. I will lead you down uh, this hallway, Graffin. Don't worry. Uh, and once we're out of your shot of the goblins, I'll say, let them have the food. There's probably even greater treasures to be had within here. And if they pose a challenge to us, we'll take it from there. Okay. Fine. I'm gonna if you guys are in agreement with that. I'm going to go down the hallway that he, that he discovered. Okay. There are couple of doors there. Just let me which number you want to go through. I'm going to open 19F. Ooh. 19F looks to be uh, some sort of guest bedrooms. Looks like it has been used. Uh, they are a couple garments and, and stuff around here. Uh, looks like drow clothing or anyone else? Uh, it looks like clothing for humans. Human. While we stand here, I'm going to cast Detect Magic upon myself. Okay, so far, uh, the lights are magical throughout. They're continuous flames. Okay. Ever-burning torches. Uh, and I'm going to whisper to Tyrell, uh, I'm, I'm almost tapped out. And there's so. magic in 19i, the two cents. And also magic and I think I have to Yeah, you, I can you, sense you, you it, can but sense I just can't it. Yeah. tell what it is. So yet. far where you're at, nineteen I you can sense magic. Okay, yeah. Uh, I sense something magical, non torch related in that next doorway, Tyrell. And also, and also, I'm I'm very tapped for for spells. Um, I have I have emergency stash remaining, but I wouldn't want to get into a a prolonged battle with I'm any large weak force. I barely have any spare spells myself. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just go where Graffin is directing. Where he thinks I should go. Uh, I point to the door, 19i. Okay, 19i. You see a long black cape with silver web-like embroidery and silver spider claps hanging from a peg by the door. There are uh, wood lanterns stand bare in the middle of the room. And a foot of the lantern sits at uh, a nice-looking metal chest with spider shaped handles the chest is magical the chest itself is magical mm-hmm. interesting mm. i'm gonna ask the bard if he can check it for traps 
Um, he looks kind of a scoundrel. He looks kind of like a scoundrel to me. He looked at it says, no traps. Hmm. It says it's bound, locked by magic. What uh, what magic do I sense from this chest now that I now that I've just pinpointed the location of the magic item? <sighs> Let me look up the spell. <clears throat> Summon your mama spell. And I turn to Cereza and Tyrell and the kobold who I assume is behind us somewhere. And I say, uh, there's something worth protecting in this chest. It but is how a, far a, they've gone is it, it, is it, it is abjuration magic. Abjuration magic. Hmm. Spirit fingers. Abjuration. Well, everybody's kind of hurt, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Prob I probably have some of the highest health. So I'm going to reach out and see if I can open the chest. Uh, how are you going to open it? Um, does it? I'm going to use just my hands. And it's, I'm going uh, to see it, if it'll open. Okay, at that point. Uh, hmm. Does anybody know how to pick locks well? I do not. I don't think I could even attempt it. I'm a cleric. The 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 bard set is locked by magic. Hmm. Well then, I'm going is to there anything use my last could... second level spell. I'm going to touch it and I'm going to cast knock. Okay, you cast knock. It opens. And greenish gas goes into your lungs. Yep, you feel yep. sick and choking. Uh, okay, in that, you find uh, the chest interior. Uh, there's several compartments in it. Uh, you see a pair of black leather boots, an empty water skin, a petrified basilisk egg, Spider silk sack that contains 175 platinum pieces, a potion, and two thick spell books. Um, are the boots pinging as magic? Nope, just regular, nice-looking black leather boots. Uh, <laughs> just for you to go to Vegas and dance. What about the what about stage. the what is pinging magic in here? As I look at it, anything. <laughs> The, Aside from the spell books, the, the potion, um, basically the chest itself. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab the platinum. You said it was a hundred platinum. One hundred seventy-five platinum pieces. Oh, one hundred seventy-five platinum. Okay. Um, basically. I'm gonna give five hundred platinum to Teresa. No, no, hundred. I'm sorry, not five hundred. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Five hundred gold worth of platinum. So fifty platinum mm -hmm. to Teresa. Fifty platinum to Tyrell. Uh, I'll take 50 platinum, and then uh, the cobalt gets 25 platinum. He looks oh, at you and says, thank nice. you. Thank Adam. you very much. I'll work harder next time. Cobalt, where are you going to spend your money? Oh, don't worry. I'm going to make myself a nice, fancy-looking uh, clothing when I get out of here and see Final's my way. PP, right? Yeah. Uh, in this book, and I'll, uh, I'll you'll take look the spell, at the spell books. books. Oh, yeah. The spell book has Animate Dead. Oh, boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And, um... Animate okay. Object. Animate Dead, Animate Object. Okay. Anti-Magic Field. Arcane okay. Lock. Fabricate. Finger of Death. Shit. Fireball. Geese, as in G E A S. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Low bulb invulnerability. Ray of enfeeblement. 
spider climb and stone shape. Damn. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna place those two into my haversack. Okay. Um, and I'll take a look at the potion. Do I recognize the color consistency? I'll uncork um, it and smell it and see. Uh, let's see here. What kind of potion is it? No, ne you never uh, went and came across this potion before. Okay. I'm going to cork it and hold it up to the rest of the group. Mm -hmm. and ask if anybody else recognizes it. None of them do. You can try running, right. rolling an arcane to see what it is. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll put it away for right now because I, I want to spend time and look at look at it later. I want to move fast. Okay. Before the the goblins get through more of these rooms, what do you guys think? Mm -hmm, that's what I thought. Yep, exactly. I am awesome. But anyway, let's you go. While tonight. you guys are rummaging and stuff like that. Looks like all the goblins just left. The, the the fort, they made a huge mess in a lot of the rooms as well. Okay, so which room? Um, I'm going to stand in the center. In the center of 19E. 19 e Where do I... Where... It's just a hallway. Do I, uh... Do I ping any other magic from other rooms? I'm just going to... By the way, I'm just kind of standing at his side just in case while he's trying to figure out where the magic is. So I'm right there with him in case anything happens. I appreciate uh, it. Um, and 19K, you see, you see magic. 19K, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll indicate to Tyrell and Teresa. Magic over there. Something. And that's a room, right? Yep. Yeah, 19k. I'll, I'll head into that big room. Okay. What do we see, good DM? Um, you see... Uh, a, it looks like this room's been ransacked. And you see a looks to be a drow priestess that was pregnant, that was uh, uh, cut through the belly down, ripping everything out, and her baby and her unborn baby on the ground dead. A lot of shattered glass on the ground as well. Also, several other uh, male drows dead, gutted and cut. Another one that looks to, looks to be wearing a weight. Uh, a, a nice looking rope drow and also mutilated and cut and this it, it, with a middle of the room is a shrine of loaf uh that's six foot tall huh okay Raffin, what do you think we should do here uh i Yep. Could have saved that woman, but nope. You let the uh, goblins live. I, I, I kind of look at it and just say out loud, disgusting. Mm. Barbarians. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, it's in that preg dead pregnant lady. The magic that you sense. Graffin, the magic is coming from the body? Billy. I think he's dead too now. Yeah, let's oh, wait a minute for him to come back. I have my mute on. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I'll... coming from the body, huh? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, <clears throat> whatever is whatever is hanging on my what my kind of magic there. is coming from the body? Uh, excellent question. What kind of magic is coming from this body? Um. Uh... 
come from a uh, looks like to be on the finger of the pregnant lady and I think it's conjuration I'm going to interesting grasp the ring and look at it uh, uh, can I can I see any cool. visible runes or you can see, I you, see, you, you see runes on it but you can roll me arcane okay 25 it is, uh, seems to be a control ring uh, that controls some type of an iron spider that you guys destroyed a while ago. Huh. And she's also wearing a platinum web necklace uh, uh, with tiny black crystal spider dangling from it. Hmm. But that wasn't magic, right? Just just no. the ring that grabbed him. Yeah, that's magic. Oh, you see a obsidian dagger that she has as well. Well, I'm going to to kind of hang my head a little bit and say it's sad what happened to you, but I can do nothing for you at this point. Mm -hmm. The beasts who slayed you are gone, but this will help for a better chance for everyone else. And I'll, does I'll it, take the, does the it necklace look like off. Does it look like this was a... Uh... I'll take that platinum web necklace off. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Does it look like this was a uh, ritual, some kind? No, uh, uh, necromancy uh, 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 maybe. No revenge. Sacrifice from... to a god. No, it was revenge that the goblins were slaved. So while you guys, oh the goblins, kill them all. The... Yeah, this is like this just happened. Yeah, they were nineteen B, so they went to nineteen K. And they murdered uh, the pregnant lady and everything. So they got, they get in here through nineteen. Oh, they went through the nineteen K door. Yeah, right there. Mm hmm. See, I told you we should have killed them. Hey, right, what other rooms you guys want to check out? We should have killed them. I am. Well, yes, we didn't kill them. We could have killed them, but I mean, were we going to kill these drow eventually? Absolutely, not like this yeah. though. No, not like this. I wouldn't but, have killed a pregnant. But we lady. we can't we can't prejudge uh, if we were if we were in uh, a position to stop it and we knew it was happening. Then I hundred percent agree with you. That, which but we can't kick ourselves in the butt for not having done something that we didn't know was going to happen. Mm -hmm. we can't go around killing everything we meet, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm assuming they ransacked 19J. No, you can check. I'm going to open the 19J. 19J, you see two uh, drow that looks like they were prison in an uh, iron chain that got their neck slit. And the small table there sits a black casket. And a, and the So, yeah. A black casket. Okay. I'm going to have Grafton. I'm going to wait for Grafton to come since he has a tech magic on. Okay. I'll be right behind you. No magic here in this room. Oh, I think I think we've gotten everything within this compound. Are there any I books or no papers? Well, he's found papers in 19F. But you guys know, never really searched it. Never searched, you know. It would be nice if you guys want to search the whole room, the whole room by room, but that's up to you guys. Well, this might be a this might be a good place to rest or a horrible place. Uh, those mages <laughs> might be coming back with reinforcements. I think we're almost out of options on resting. We kind of need to just do it. Yeah. Let's let's pick a tower. I feel better in a tower. <laughs> Why not uh, 19k with a dead pregnant lady? Okay. Uh, so, I yeah. mean, we can head back to that's a suggestion. 18, I don't know. You yeah, feel. let's just go back to 18C. Or you can leave the, the fortress and, and find someone there. You did explore a lot and killed a lot. I think we, if we just go back and rest in 18C. Uh, sure. Um, you, go to, you go to 18C. The door's been blasted off, just letting you know. It was all was? Yeah, from a fireball. Oh, okay. Uh, is 18B blasted off? 
Yes, the big X mark on the doors, that, that means okay. blast it off. So, Raffin, 18D has not been blasted off. <laughs> hmm. What do you say we head down there? Sure. Let's All right, I'm up yeah. to that. Because at least there's a door we can close. And I'm <laughs> guessing at this point my elemental is gone, so mm -hmm. we'll yeah. get rid of him. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll start working my way over there. Yeah. Epic. Behind Tyrell. Yeah. So you guys rest for the night. <laughs> uh, everyone's full health spells are back. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, yeah, it was a huge battle. Uh, yeah, it was. Especially you guys didn't do it right. Just kind of went gung ho <laughs> on this. Yeah, is there really a right way? Yeah, I mean, there's probably a written way. But... There, there, there's multiple written ways you can do this, but knowing, <laughs> knowing, oh, knowing, uh, you know, the cleric is, you know, uh, believes uh, has got his helm. Probably will not do a lot of the ways that you guys want to do. Um. So yeah. Uh, so you know it's it's empty it's quiet um uh, lot of stuff's been ransacked uh, a lot of stuff that's basically been pillaged from you know from the goblins and the, the lone troglodytes this fortress is now barren so what do you guys want to do okay i think we should I guess well, we that was an intense day the other day, uh, blasting the hell out of those guys. But again, where did those mages go to? Do you think they went went to like a bigger fort? There, there very well could be a bigger fort where the mad mage himself is. Maybe. Ooh, oh no. Okay. Well. Wherever they went, now they know that there's a badass group that just wiped out their entire squadron up here. Mm -hmm. uh, so they'll probably be reinforcing what, whatever positions they have. So this is gonna this is gonna be fun. Yep. If we go down to the next level, if you find it, yeah, we haven't found it yet. We... That's true. We know I there's guess. a way up. <laughs> Maybe Where like haven't we D? looked? Uh, it looks like there's a spot up in 12D we haven't looked. Um, yeah, that's about it. So like 12B, that, that kind of corner area. I mean, completely metagame uh, speaking as well, myself. Well, there's as like my three spots. It looks like there's like... Is this a hidden area down here, or is that just somewhere we haven't explored yet? You just haven't explored yet. There's like three spots okay. at the top right that you guys haven't, you know, haven't yeah. explored. But uh, down here at the bottom left, pretty much polar opposite, is that spot? Uh, is that a wall, or is that somewhere we haven't explored yet? On the bottom left. Yeah, where I'm, I'm kind of pinging it right yeah, now. Yeah, looks like oh, the, 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 that, that, that's that's part of a wall. Okay, so. Non, they, they, non character they, they have, me. They have it away, make an endless dungeon for a lower level. I'm like, I'm not doing that much work. <laughs> uh, yes, okay. So, yeah, let's go up to the north east. Right. I follow Mr. Graffin. Yeah, which one? Oh boy, okay, okay. Let me zoom in here so I can get my character. the hell am I? Where have I gone? Away. Far, far yeah. away. I don't know where I am, so I'm going to just pop myself down. Mm -hmm. A new character. Uh, I'm going to go to 12D. Is where I'm going to place my guy. 12D. Okay. Uh, that, 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 that's a wall right there. 12B, stretch into three different areas. So 12D has a wall, B. but 12B yeah, has D. branching pathways. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Left, right, or northeast? 
Northeast. Northeast. Um, let me get the reveal. Hold on, before we do this, I'm going to take a moment and summon the <coughs> elemental. Okay. Could you could you make him big for me, Lance? Uh, there's no use. He's just fought a down level. I just want to smash through all those spider webs. Oh, you, you do that. Good, oh, good job. Crickets great. falling down. You forgot about the crickets, have you? <laughs> oh, goddamn crickets! Hundreds of thousands of crickets. I'm gonna smell like crickets forever now. Looks like uh, bo uh, these um. There's like metal construct that's like size of like a purple worm that's like hollowed out in this chamber. Weird. And there's a lot of like worm burl, Very strange. Burl that's coming down that, that makes the level going down to level 13. So it's like a oh, weird creature passing through the made creature. this passage. Mm hmm. Size. Yeah, but the sculpture of the metal construct is a purple worm. Okay. Is it some sort of digging machine, Graffin? Oh, your guess is as good as mine. So you guys are going down? What exactly is a digging machine, anyway? Uh, and you guys are going down? If it's anything other than a machine that digs, I don't know what... I don't know anything Yeah, anymore. I don't really understand what it is, but... Uh, Let's find it and kill it. Uh, down at level 13, then. Hooray. Oh, that was a big, big level. Oh, uh, it gets bigger. What was that, like three sessions, four sessions on that level? Oh, well, yeah, plus Asha wasn't one of them. And also, uh, what, what you call it? Uh, shit. Let me get this thing up and going. Oh god, can I oh it map layer. I gotta find this level. Where's level? Where's level twelve up? Frigging come on. Roll twenty. Work with me. I see nothing by the way. I know. I don't know if you just have nothing up. No, nah, now you do. Well my roll twenty is frozen again. I'm frozen at hatching dragons. Oh, Oh, I see that. It's a burrow. There we go. There's Billy, Teresa, Grim. So, basically, we're it's still like I'm in looking this on a tunnel. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm looking at a microscope slide. Like we are in the the. Stomach. That is a burrow. Looks like some creature has made. You guys could roll me a uh, what you call it? What would you like rolled? There's your earth elemental. Ray Lance, how long do those card boons last? The twenty-four hours. It, twenty-four uh, hours. So it's it, just twenty-four. All of them. Okay, so yeah. mine's gone. Yeah, yours is gone. Okay. I shall take it away from you. Yay. Rid me of this accursed thing. Oh, okay. Now my my game finally loaded the map properly before it was just a smear. Uh I'm not I got I I'm not putting Kit down. I just have Seth Kits with you. Kit's really a support character, that's all he is. Okay, so you can roll me a nature check to see who made these tunnels. Oh, I'm no good at that. You I'm not a nature guy. You have, I'm you, not you have a great, druid. I'm not bad at intelligence. You do have a druid. Actually, we can't hear you. Hey, 14 and 14. Uh, nice. it, it is made by a purple worm. A worm? Ew, I don't like worms too much. Okay, uh, this board that the worm made and tunneled in, uh, it is very, uh, not that as narrow can individually go through. 
uh, but the, the but the terrain is very rough and rugged. So if you guys are going across, you guys got roam in athletics or an acrobatics check. So basically, check. the connection between level eleven, I'm uh, sorry, level twelve and level thirteen didn't exist. It was never built. It only exists because it's where it made it. So this maybe it was a magical. Uh, maybe it was only reached by magical means. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's what I'm trying to understand. The only way uh, before this worm did this was to get, to get from level 12 to 13 was by magical means. Mm -hmm. There's a possibility that the worm was controlled and Ooh. forced to make this tunnel. I, the you can do mage that? Oh my is goodness. quite mad. I have heard the stories. But you see a, a like a very steep like uh like a cliff uh on like this little narrow area it's going to it looks like you uh you, you probably need a climbing gear or you'd be very good with your rolls to to get up well, we have some ability to fly that too. As well, Raffin, you want to fly up there and see what it is all about? Let's do it. I'm behind you. Uh, going pretty much waste all your magic. Go for it. What do you mean by that? For Billy to cast fly. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just get in the spell right now. Oh, don't so forget I... to lose your ration for a day too. Oh, from resting in the tower. Yeah. Understood. Why? Okay, here we go. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, I can cast fly on, Let's see here. How, how wide is it? Is it just that the, the terrain's so bad we want to fly, or is it that gap ahead? The, the terrain is so bad, you know? Yeah, he said, uh, if we checks. can't yeah. get up it without, without climbing gear or mm -hmm. flying i can use wild shape okay that's good that's good i could turn um, myself into like a bird or something or like a mole or something i think i'm gonna uh would would this be an instance where a uh, spider climb would assist like if you walked on the the ceiling or spider whatever climb, or is the ceiling spider, just spider, bad spider climb will work Okay, I'm going to uh, cast Spider Climb on Tyrell. Oh, I can get up there myself. You can get up there yourself? No worries. Okay, then I I'm take out Tyrell and say, hey, Sword, make me fly. You lose two charges. It's one charge, it's just me. No, it's two charges to use that spell. Oh, fly? Yeah. I'm going to cast Spider Climb on myself. Okay, Ashley? I am... going to use Wild Shape. Okay. Do what? Giant wolf spider. Giant wolf spider. I'm looking at a wedge page and it says boar, giant wolf spider. I figure spiders can climb really good, so. Okay. 
Uh, I actually can't cast Spider Climb because it's a uh, concentration and I have my elemental. So instead, I'm just going to cast Fly on myself. Okay. Third level instead of second level spell. Okay. Okay, cast Fly on yourself. You have a wolf spider climbing up, spider, uh, and two flies, okay. People that are flying, Grim and Billy, you see a metallic giant wasp, and you also see a metallic, look like a, like a giant beetle, gorging on the metal that's on the ground that's been laying. It looks like it's been discarded junk of half completely destroyed metal. And that's been turning into rust, and they are eating it. Hmm. And they're just and they're just ignoring you. How big are these things? Uh, they're uh, the, the 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 metallic wasp. They're size of like a like a medium sized dog. And the rust monster oh, is basically size like a like a large dog. Let's uh let's not go that way. Something about giant metal bees. I'm gonna stay away from those. Mm-hmm. You can go try to go down the tunnels, uh but the only way you can go across it will be up on the top or the left where the, the those metallic creatures are at. What do I see from this vantage here? Do you see tunnels? Tunnels that the purple worm made. It is like a burrow hole. That was like one of the burrow holes that you know that you can climb out of. But look like the the burrow hole gets longer and longer as you go. Uh, splits into three different ways that you see. That you see. Uh, what's what's this to the north and the south of me? Mm. Is that like an opening of some sort, or is it just uh? Is what? it just a change in like the the ground? It, yeah. it looks like the color the, changes. The, 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 the left, right, those the, the darker gray shade, they're, they're tunnel burrows. The one that okay. you're able to fly through is that little 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 cliff thing that where you see the wasp and the beetle. But everything's underground pretty much. You're in a tunnel, All flying right. through a tunnel. Should we continue on? Yeah, I think we should just continue on. And I have my elemental go ahead. Mm-hmm. Which way? Uh, down the tunnel. The uh, the worm tunnel. Yeah, which way? There's three ways. There's two that splits in the bottom. No, and just, one just, up just, right, just right to where, right to where I put them. So he's going to stand there and wait for us. Okay, you see tunnels extending here. Mm. Oh. Door two. What do you guys think? Mm. Mm. Yeah, guys, what do you think? Uh, straight north? Yeah, straight north. Got it. Let's do it. Okay. Got it. I gotta, I gotta move my map. Right.
over here when you guys people that are flying you yep. see you see this is a, a trench little area that you kind of fl can fly over and look around What do we see when we look uh, around in that trench area? Oh. You see this? Let me show you what it looks like. Okay. <clears throat> oh man. Uh oh. number two that you guys see. Uh it's about a hundred and twenty foot high cavern uh that you see right there. And uh on two A is that you see a twenty foot deep trench surrounded a hundred foot tall half completed metal archway. It rises from a bed of sharp metals. You see four. Let me look at Appendix A. See what kind of creature these are. Oh, shit. Four A. Four A. Appendix A. We don't want to go against Halister right now because everyone would die. Let's see what's their what's his name? Again, oh, starts with an S. Uh, you see four huge construct that is um that are like move they move like they're like size of like giant scorpions. Uh, okay. Basically, building in this in, in this heap of metal bed that they made, and a dozen, yeah, about you know, a dozen looking medium sized construct with crossbows and mechanic wings with multiple metal legs, you know, protecting this little area. They're like golems, metal golems. Uh, let me let me get the name out for you guys. Just give me a sec. Let me pop it into the damn map for you. So, Galadar. And let me get this other one. Uh, okay. Uh, I got it. Uh, let me get. Let me put this guys into. Uh, uh, freaking! Did you find him? Yeah, it's just you. You, you know. I oh, fine. I'm just just ask him. Yeah, I'm putting them. In. I'm putting them in. Oh, that, that's too big. <laughs> you see ah, that? <laughs> holy shit. How did that thing even get down here? What the? Is that a crab? That's a, that's a scorpion. A scorpion. It's a metal it's scorpion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a crab with a stinger on its tail. How many of these things are there? There are four of those. Four. They're pretty big. 
Are they large creatures? Are they taking up like a two by two? Yeah. Oh man. And you see a bunch. I've never se- actually seen one of these things in game before. You see like dozen of them. They're just minding their own business. That's what they actually look like. That's pretty scary. Graffin. I wonder how we should handle this. Uh, should we even attempt to destroy those creatures, those constructs, or let's keep moving? Because if they're, yeah, they're not they're not really paying attention to us. It doesn't it's seem a very like it. Good it's a very good and, thing. Did you say this was a pit that we're looking into? Lance? Yeah, that extending a huge metallic object. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's let's just keep going around the, the rim of this pit and try not to draw their attention. Yes. Lucky we're in the air and um All right. Are you going back down that way? I was thinking um, we just continue around. Um, around the pit. Yeah, from kind of like this area here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. All right. Well, all right. Yeah. We'll do that. Uh, are you going to go down the pit again? No, we're continuing on the rim. No, the, we're basically, it, 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 it goes burled down to the tunnel. From there. So you saw that that's a trench that you guys are able to go out now it goes back into the the whole whole, whole tunnel and everything okay yeah we'll head back into the tunnel hole then uh, all um, right i'm with that worm tunnel mm-hmm. looks like it meets pretty much meets up to where you were you were anyway The splits in two way going down. Yeah, so uh, we're just traveling that. Okay. We're just traveling straight down, right? You know, this is left or right. Might down. as well. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it gets us away from that pit full of mechanical stuff. Metal monsters. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just like how there's a metal monster, Godzilla versus Kong. Which way, left or right? Mecha Godzilla is going to be in Godzilla versus Kong. Mm hmm. Left or right? Oh, left. Didn't left. that movie get delayed or something? It did. But they. It's because Kong just shot. gets stepped on. Uh, there's a little opening area that you can go and see uh, that area if you want. I didn't even like the movie Kong. Oh, yeah. Skull Island. Yeah. It wasn't that good. Yeah. They didn't. Not a great script. They had a good actor in it, Tom Hiddleston. It just was crap. So I don't see how Godzilla vs. Kong is going to do good. I mean, King of Monsters was okay. It was, but it wasn't as good as the first Godzilla. Are you guys going to go up and see see that or no? Above that little area, 
Yeah, we might as well. Yeah, what's down this little tunnel here? Yeah. Oh, this <laughs> down this tunnel. Yeah. Trying to figure out what that is. It splits off. And you can see this little thing that you can fly up to. I'm seeing an arrow on this map. Yeah, that's this thing is number one. Uh, medium size. Okay, cool. Uh, let me know. Are you gonna? Are you guys gonna go up and see? Okay. I see where it says down level. Yeah. Don't want to move that quick. Uh, you see nine of these weird looking medium sized uh, childlike creatures by the forge. You see a whole bunch of scrap pile in the middle of number eight. Hmm. Three, four, five, six. More, me another pit. Seven, eight. Yeah, so you see, you know, yep. looks like, you know, nine of those things uh, basically working on the forge. Uh, you know, different colors of metal spewing from the forge and then there's a whole bunch of scrap pile that's 20 foot high pile of scrap metals dominates the middle of this cavern i wonder graphen if this is where they create those metal monstrosities oh that's an excellent question mm -hmm. this place gives me the creeps yes <laughs> yeah those weird colored metals <sighs> Can only be magic of a man gone mad. We must be getting close to him. I'm gonna mark these things so that'll be easy for you. Where we gotta go through. So the green X will basically indicate uh, the for the trench to get out to you know or go down. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, cool. So yeah, uh, where do you guys want to go? Uh, I think we should keep exploring before we engage any. Maybe come up with a plan to destroy these monstrosities and abominations. Mm. Mm -hmm. Unless you have an idea already. Well, this uh, takes you down to the, the next level down. And there is oh. a little thing that you can go and see what's in, what's in this little island. Uh, that's up on top. Oh, God, another one. Absolutely. Let's check out the monstrosities that are behind this door. Yeah. Uh, number 10 looks it. to be uh, a 30 foot high cavern that remains of an adventuring party campfire in the, in the middle. That Someone else been... actually got down here? Mm hmm. That, that, that never uh, has been uh, used ever since. How, I mean. I don't know me. if I'd be able to tell you, how long you, it's you been, but... Me, you can roll me investigate. Uh... <laughs> <coughs> A 19 for my investigate it's been, roll. It's been probably months or years. Uh, okay, so, it's, so yes. not anytime soon. So what you're saying is I don't really know how long it's been, but I know it's it's definitely been like it wasn't <laughs> yesterday. It's been a very it's long been, time. It's been abandoned. Yeah. Okay, I just so, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't expect to actually have you say it's been 50 years. I'm just 
Just no, yeah. it wasn't yesterday. It's been a very long time. Yeah. You don't know how long. Could be hundred years, could be ten years, but it's been a long time. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, what do you two think? We should check out the rest of the level before we just venture down to fifteen. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I'm curious. No one as can to hear you, Ashley. Because it was a another tunnel up near the scrap metal lobster scorpion looking. Wait a second, uh, Ashley, you're muted. I'm here. Yeah. I'm so, here. so explain what you want to do. I think Ashley, we should how come explore. Your, how come your mic it keeps getting muted? Jake, you mute him manually. Your, surf, your Surface Pro is evil. Um, I'm using my phone. Oh, for the mic? Oh, you yeah. couldn't find the Surface Pro. I had the Surface Pro. It's just the Surface Pro sucks. It constantly has to be on the charger. Oh, that maybe you need a battery replacement. Could be. It's old. Oh, well, it says it's only like three years old. Yeah, and uh, it needs to be wiped I, I, out. I, I need to reformat it. Storage. Its storage is almost completely filled up. Yeah. It's got two uh, percent more before it's filled up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like definitely sounds like a huge problem, Lance. Fix your surface. Make me. Plus, um, I have my cat sleeping on me. Yeah, so, uh, so would you? So I'm. A, if you guys see where I'm pointing, uh, Raffin, that's why I'm thinking, because there's probably some other, a lot of other areas down here. That Hold on, let me we back might up a bit so I can see you. Got <laughs> Zoom out just a little bit so we can figure out where you're at. I uh, think we're just going to do the exploring and see what you guys see. And from there, uh, we'll call uh, it a I night. am back up near these. Oh, I see you. Okay. I see you. The scorpion constructs. Yeah, we should do a lot more exploring, gain more experience before going down to another level. Uh, yeah, I mean, these that. are creatures you guys never encountered either, so. Um, yeah, these I are constructs, seen. right? I have nothing to go against. They constructs. look like constructs. They look metal. Mm hmm So there's a little tunnel that goes uh, that goes down. Uh, I'll do the I'll do the whole tunnel for you guys. So, uh, you, you see a little trench over here with a green line down here. If you guys want to go up and see. Where was it again? Like I'm trying to see, but I was, <clears throat> but I was zoomed in too much. Mm. Is it? Uh... Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me get these damn things in too. Oops, I got kicked out. My game, my game. Mm. Launch. I don't think it likes anyone today. No, no, it does not like anyone. It hates Grim. Well, well, my my thing keeps freezing. 
Yeah. Mine's going very yeah. slow, so. Yeah. We're just gonna explore it. I'll be it. It's almost ten o'clock. No point on doing battles. Show you this little area. I'm just uploading the creatures right now. If it lets me. You see lot on where uh, the little green X is? I know you guys are gonna fly up and look at look at it. Um see a lot of slack tights and slack mites. You see like a well suited uh hobgoblin and five um dark brownish looking dogs with two heads. I try to hide behind the slack tights. I hide just hiding behind the slack tights. Just letting you know. That's what you see. That's what you see. And four regular hobgoblins too. So that's what you guys see uh, so far. I'll get four of them out right now. Unless you guys want to do something quick. Um, or if not, I'm just going to end it for today. Uh, that's what we see. Mm -hmm. And more of these creatures. Yeah, four. Yeah, no, five of those hiding men in slack tights, and you see four hop goblins. Hey, four hobgoblins man. and one hobgob and one hobgoblin that's well armored. They're just hiding behind like, the slack. Tights. Looks like it's a commander, or yeah, looks like, kind of look like it. Yeah. Mm hmm. We see a dog with two heads. Two heads, I say. So at least it's not a service. Yeah, you have three heads. Mm hmm. I think this is a good stopping point. What do you, uh, unless you guys can do anything different. Sounds good to me. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys.